Hello students, welcome to RD Chemistry. In this video, I am going to take up new topic, chemical bonding and molecular structure. If you are not subscribed to RD Chemistry, please do subscribe, like the videos and share the videos. I will briefly explain the introduction part of the chemical bond. Now what do you mean by chemical bond? Chemical bond is the force of attraction between the atoms in a molecule or ion is called the chemical bond. For example, I have got hydrogen atom, first hydrogen, second hydrogen. Between them there is a bond okay? and this bond is called as the actually covalent bond. So it is a chemical bond between the two atoms in a molecule. Or if there is a sodium ion and there is a negative ion like chloride, cation anion, then there exists a force of attraction, chemical bond. And that chemical bond is called as the ionic bond between the ions. Okay. Now, atoms get eight electron in the outermost orbit either by losing or gaining electron or sharing of electron. Once they form the bond, any chemical bond, there has to be eight electrons in the valence shell. And that rule is called as the octet rule. What do you mean by valence shell? Outermost shell. Outermost shell is known as the valence shell. Okay. What do you mean by valence shell? It is the outermost shell. Clear? Now, here they can lose electron, they can gain electron, they can share the electron pair. Okay. Losing and gaining in the case of the ionic bond and sharing takes place in the case of the covalent bond. Okay. Now, now, this octet may not be for all the molecule. For example, let me take helium. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. Atomic number of helium is 2. How many electrons are there? Only 2 electrons are there. Such a system is called as the duplet system. Okay. Whereas in the case of neon, argon, krypton, we may noble gases that are 8 electrons in the valence shell. They have completed their octet. Whenever there is a duplet or there is an octet, okay, atoms or molecules are stable. That's why He2 does not exist, neon2 does not exist because they are completed either they are octet or they are duplet. Okay, clear? Now, what are the types of the chemical bonds we are going to study? Ionic bond. Ionic bond is also called as the electrovalent bond. Then we have got covalent bond. Then we have got hydrogen bond. Then we have got metallic bond. All these we are going to study in detail in the future videos. Let us solve some problems on the introductory part. Question number one. Chemical bond implies. Let me take one example. Hydrogen atom and hydrogen atom. Okay. Atomic number is one. Atomic number is one. One electron is there. So we have got a nucleus containing one proton and one electron, correct? Here also, we have got nucleus containing one proton and one electron, okay? Now, if you take individual atoms, energy is very high, okay? Both atoms have got very high energy because hydrogen atoms are unstable. That's why they combine. When they combine, what will happen? They will have to come closer to each other. They will come closer. Now, what will happen? Electron, electron repulsion is possible, okay? Possibility there. Repulsion be more. So what will happen now? There is a repulsion. There is also attraction. Electron can also attract the nucleus of the another atom. So what will happen now? They come closer at a particular distance. They come to at a particular distance. The particular distance called the bond length. Okay. At this distance, what will happen? The electron of one atom attracts the nucleus of the another. Electron of another atom will attract the nucleus of the one more nucleus. So what will happen now? The electrons, repulsion and the electron nuclear attraction will balance. So attractions will be more compared to repulsion between the two electrons belonging to the two atoms. Okay. So we can uh, have the answer option number two. That is the uh, attraction and repulsion will balance at a particular distance. Okay. Clear? So, second one is the answer. 
question number 2 during the formation of the chemical bond okay they mentioned about the attractions we already discussed in the first question electron electron repulsion becomes more if the repulsions are more then there is no chemical bond formation then they are speaking about the energy energy and energy let us see the same example hydrogen atom say there are two hydrogen atom with one electron each initial energy is very high because they are highly unstable initially they are unstable that's why they need to combine to give hydrogen molecule so what will happen now they become stable they become stable what will happen now attraction between the electron and the nucleus will increase so what will happen now when uh, attractions increases energy generally decrease when energy decreases it attains the stability remember when uh, energy is very high or when repulsions are very high compared attraction energy is very high when the attraction increases when the attraction increases what will happen energy decreases for the system and become more stable it attains stability okay so lower the energy higher is the stability clear so answer is option number 4 energy decreases clear question number 3 attractive forces which holds various constituent various constituent means it can be atoms it can be ions it can be one molecules also between the molecule there is also attraction together in a different chemical species is called so this is very simple this is the definition of the chemical bond right right yeah question number 4 an element has eight electrons in the valence shell which of the following is correct when there are eight electron the valence shell it has got octet structure okay octet configuration whenever there is octet configuration it is highly stable configuration and they will not lose or gain electron easily because they are already stable like you can consider neon there are eight electrons in the valence shell clear it will neither lose nor gain electron so answer is option number 3 it neither gains nor loses electrons okay question number 5 which of the following is correct for the process of chemical bond yeah already discussed in the one of the previous question kct now this is a afmc 2011 so what is the answer i'll directly go for the answer answer is the fourth one energy of the system will decrease once there is a bond formation okay right question number 6 during the formation during the bond formation normally all elements in their outermost shell acquire outermost shell is anybody the valence shell once there is a bond formation valence shell how many electrons eight electron to attain the stability clear so what is the answer answer is option number 3 eight electrons clear like the videos share the videos and subscribe rd chemistry thank you for watching